Hey friends, it is day 10 of Dr. Morris's Monkey Diet Challenge. I'm sorry for not checking in yesterday. I am in the middle of a healing crisis and feeling like hot garbage. I desperately needed to honor my body yesterday and give her a day of rest. Um, today I'm feeling even worse and this is to be expected and I wanted to capture this moment for you guys because I am here to show you the good, the bad, and the ugly sides of detox. It's not all sunshine and rainbows or roses. Actually, it's probably more like a rose detox is because uh, there's a really beautiful aspect to a rose, but uh, roses have thorns. And these purging symptoms would definitely be the thorns of the rose. So, <clears throat> quick recap on the last two days. I won't keep you too long, guys, because uh, like I said, I'm... I'm feeling it, and I can't wait to go back to bed. Uh, yesterday, day nine, I started the day with a quarter of a watermelon. Yeah, I know it's still a little bit early, but this particular chunk of watermelon looked extra good, and it really was. It was quite sweet and juicy, and uh, my body loved that extra hydration. It was just a really nice change from the grapes. Um, but I wasn't really hungry most of the day yesterday. And there's a pattern that I've seen, at least in my body, that about one to two days prior to my body really releasing this mucus and congestion, um, I'll have a major, major dip in energy. And uh, then things will start to break open and, and run free. So uh, yesterday evening, I also had um, a small salad. Again, guys, uh, when you're not feeling food, you're going to have those days when your body calls for more fasting and just honor that. Don't force your body to eat something if you're just really not feeling it because often on those days, your body is digging in to um, old lymph and it's moving and it's cleaning house, and that takes so much energy. And if we were to give our bodies, say, cooked dead foods that don't give the body any energy, but instead require energy, you can see how that might drain us even further. So when you're feeling hungry, when you feel like you need hydration and sustenance, um, gravitate more toward your juicy fruits and incorporate your vegetables as needed for some grounding. But um, during these periods of the healing crisis is when it is really important to focus on hydrating and moving that lymph. Alrighty, today, day 10, um, I took my tinctures. I started the day with a uh, great grape juice, which lasted me most of the evening. Again, I'm really not hungry today. My body is just digging in, cleaning house, and uh, I'm not trying to tax her any more than she's already taxed right now. So today, grape juice, I juiced about um, two pounds of black grapes and one pound of green grapes with one lemon, and that was a delicious, delicious juice. That gave me about 50 to 55 ounces of juice, and because I used another pound of grapes with the whole lemon, it was not as tart. Oh, it, was, it was quite refreshing and, and just what my body needed. Earlier, I also made um, some white willow bark tea. I love this anytime my immune system is down or I'm struggling with body aches and pains, which I most definitely am. That, that officially set in tonight. Um, so today, I've been having some fevers and chills, hot and cold. Um, my skin is incredibly sensitive to the touch. It kind of hurts a little bit. And guys, like the last two days, my eyes and my nose have been running nonstop. Like I literally cannot catch them. Oh. All right, so let's talk about why we get raw and red and irritated and dry underneath our noses, right? Whenever our noses do start to run and we're moving that mucus out. Remember that the mucus that we're hydrating and, and purging from our bodies, that mucus is holding on to acidic waste. And we know that acids burn, they cause irritation, and we also know that they are going to burn through moisture, just natural moisture in these tissues. So the, the moisture that's naturally under your nose and right inside, you know, that those mucus membranes should be well hydrated, improperly coated, and this and that. Uh, but these, these acids 
will kind of eat through that coating and will burn these areas raw and red and irritated. So um, there's a few things that we can do at home to help mitigate that discomfort. Um, one that I've been using heavily is my calendula salve. For irritations like this, you could also make a cup of Dr. Morse's Heal All Tea, um, dip a cotton ball or a little washcloth and just hold that to the area that is um, irritated. There are herbs in there that help clean and strengthen and tone. There are herbs in there that help reduce inflammation. I've been struggling with major, major sinus pressure, um, a buildup of pressure along the back of my neck. So tomorrow I will be doing hot and cold compresses to the back of my head to help get this to drain even more. Um, but you can also get a cold shower, stand under some hot water, get uh, get the water cold again. And, and what we're doing here with the temperature is literally pumping blood and lymph to the skin and back to the core, to the skin and back to the core, right? How cool is that? It's precisely what happens when we have a fever, right? Um, there's something in the body that the body does not like, and it's going to clean house. It's going to get rid of it. And so the body will raise the temperature and sweat it out, right? We want to make sure that our skin is open and sweating. So um, get yourself a dry skin brush if you're struggling with that. Another tool that we use at home, especially to help with the sinus congestion, is a lymphatic facial massage. And this is something that my father actually taught me when I was growing up, anytime my mom and I would have a headache, he would bust out this facial massage and man, does it help. Why? Because we are moving lymph and getting this congestion to drain. So I'll show you guys very briefly kind of what I do. Um, if I am working on my husband, I generally sit on the couch with a pillow in my lap and his head on the pillow um, face up. And then I will, with a fairly firm pressure, rub all along his sinus cavities, making sure to really get in to the temples, all of these soft spots um, where our jaw hinges. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. really dig in there. Your cheekbones right above them, right on them, pull up. Literally, it's nice if, if you're working on someone or someone is working on you because their head is in your lap and you can literally pull up on the, the cheekbones and wow, does that relieve pressure? It's awesome. Keep following it down the sinuses, just off to the side of the nose, not quite on it. You don't want to uh, constrict the, na the, the nostrils, right? But just off to the side. Nice, firm pressure. Pull it down. Ready for this? Oh yeah, push it up. Oh, get... Get that like mushy face going on. Don't even care. Unapologetic about it. Be unapologetic about prioritizing your health. So we're just a firm pressure pulling down, pushing up, and wow, you will absolutely feel that mucus starting to drain. With that said, guys, that's been my last two days. I can definitely tell that I'm probably going to break a fever tonight while I sleep. Very much looking forward to that. And tomorrow is a brand new day. Start my day with my herbs. Start my day with my red raspberry tea. And uh, I'm going to make another uh, grape and lemon juice. Though I do have to run to the store and grab some more grapes. I have about one pound left right now. So that is it, guys. Miserable but grateful. These healing crisis symptoms are natural, normal, and necessary. We cannot expect to clean the body if this acidic waste stays inside. So sometimes we have to get a little strict and discipline ourselves and just perform an oil change. That's all this is, guys. I'm getting the junk out. It sucks right now, but I'm going to feel so much better, so much better. So on that note, guys, have a great night. Keep it real, keep it raw, and I will see you tomorrow for day 11. Good night.